Hey, it's Nick Tuminello from Versa Climber. I want to talk to you a little bit about a concept that's used in the endurance training world called polarized training. And if you think about, if we say an issue is polarized, we mean people are two opposite ends of, of the spectrum and there's really not a lot of middle ground being considered. Well, that's a, a type of training that's, methodology that's utilized, which is basically cutting out any sort of mid-distance, mid-intensity type stuff and focusing on high intensity, short duration work and low intensity, longer duration work. And there's been some research on that showing that it's it's more beneficial to do those two opposite than also doing some middle ground work. So one of the aspects that you can utilize if you're an endurance type athlete to minimize all the heavy duty impact of the long, slow, steady state type stuff is to use a versa climber and to stick with the high intensity, short duration work doing your road work. Let's say if somebody, if you're someone like a runner. And why I like the versa climber is because it's low impact. So, I mean, it's obvious whether you're familiar with it or not. You've got a total body work here, but minimal impact on my knees. It's very back friendly as well. So I wanted to introduce you to the concept of polarized training, which I just did, and also tell you how important something like this is. Another one is an aerodyne light where you can do that steady state work, that longer duration work, but try to minimize injuries because you're using more low impact ways of doing it. So I suggest not to use that exclusively, but to thread it in, use the versa fiber aerodyne bike exclusively, but to thread it in to minimize the negative effects of all that pounding on your joints that you can incur through running.